What's up YouTube? Conat87 here, here bringing you week 2 of the winter 2013 anime season. For me, the second episode of a series is really detrimental in whether or not I watch the series. The second episode is like the cement into what this anime is going to be, what this anime has the potential to be. It centers in the atmosphere, the whole mood and feeling of the anime, because the first episodes of series are always amazing. So it's usually in the second episode which the quality drops, and that will be probably the normal quality throughout the rest of the anime. All in all, the second episode makes or breaks an anime. So I'm sure to always give every anime I start two episodes minimum before I choose whether or not to watch it. And another little pre-tidbit before I start get right into this. Kotara-san. I, I record this video Thursday night and then I leave it uploading so it's good for Friday. So I record this before I'm able to watch Kotara-san and any other Thursday anime. So those will all be like back a week, because this, this week I'll talk about episode one of Kotora-san, which was amazing, and then next week's show will be the episode twos of those seasons, because just how they're airing in Japan and how when I get them. So that's why it may seem weird I'm talking about an anime that already has the next episode out, but I haven't been able to watch it yet. But enough of this jibber-jabber, on to week two! There's three shows this week whose second episode really engaged and interested me. So they're probably my three best shows of this week. With a super honorable mention to Senyu, who stayed true to himself. The five minute adventure comedy show is, is perfectly hilarious. I enjoyed all the five minutes of it. So honorable mention to you, Senyu. I thought you'd suck, but you're pretty damn good. Number three, Amnesia. Now, I am not the target demographic of an Otomi game-based anime, and yet I've re I really enjoyed the second episode comparatively to the first episode. The first episode I felt was quite bland and uninteresting, but the second episode kind of actually engaged me. I was a lot more interested in some of the flashbacks to heroine's past. I still hate that though. So I will probably stick with this anime because I am kind of interested in her past and how all the tidbits will connect together because it, it does seem more unusual for a reverse harem. As much as I do hate this series and I hate the main character and I there's lots of things to dislike about this series and yet it still somehow caught my attention and had me engaged and kind of enjoying the episode. I'm not going to say too much more, but yes, I will be continuing this series. Number two, Cuticle Detective Inaba. I greatly enjoyed this series. This episode in particular strongly cemented that this show is a comedy and it is Full out strong slapstick humor. It's a solid comedy, and I love just solid comedy sometimes, especially because I was expecting a drama out of this show. But after the second episode, I know it's going to be a comedy, and I am going to watch it and enjoy. And the number one spot in this week goes to Mao Yu Mao Yu Sha. Told you I'd never get bored of saying that name. This episode further showed the overall mood and feeling of this war and the demons. The demon queen herself, how she is quite a smart intellectual character with quite a lot of depth that I can't wait for us to learn more about her. And in particular, something I loved about this episode, it did not resort to some senseless fan service with the boobs and whatnot. If instead it focused on more of the cute interactions, the cute romantic interactions of our main characters, and I just I greatly enjoyed it. Can't wait to learn even more about their relationship, about these characters, about this entire world. I am really interested in this series and I am so glad I got the opportunity to watch and review it now. 
because you know something's a great anime when you're watching and enjoying every minute, and then all of a sudden the ending plays, and you go, what? It, it, it's already over? It can't be over already. When the time flies that fast, you're so engaged in an anime that you're so, you're startled by the ending that it's already here. The ending song's already playing, so that right away is a red flag for me. This is a great anime. But along with the top three, I also have a bottom three of this week. Number three, Bakumatsu Gigin Gen Roma. Now, 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 in no way, shape, or form is this a bad anime. It's a good anime. It's a great anime. I don't quite know what I was expecting out of it. I got the, got the Lupin awesome feeling. And yet I'm not as interested in this as I thought I would be. So I am going to give it a couple more episodes, but... I might end up dropping this series because just didn't hold my attention as well as I thought. I thought this was going to be my favorite of the season, but I don't know. See what happens. Number two, Love Live School Idol Project. It's cute and musical and there's singing and the girls are good and cute and fun. It's really a cute, fun musical series so yeah it, it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fun it's good but if you couldn't tell i did not have any real reason to dislike those two i just i just did because i'm i don't know i'm weird probably but my number one worst of this week i feel it deserves to be number one Ore Shura. Masazu, the gray haired girl. She pissed me off this episode. She was so mean. I know she's gonna have like the traumatic backstory and will be like, oh, that's why she's this way. But right now she's just pissing me off. I really hate this kind of character, this S character who's blackmailing our main lead and I well I, I was fine with that. I just didn't like how mean she was to our high-spirited girl. I am nowhere near a fan of the hyperactive character type, but that was just low. I felt so bad for her, and she was trying so hard. She was trying so hard to be happy, and then we got her backstory with the kendo club, and that's why she's not going to leave this club with Masazu, and she is so in love with our main lead, and it's just... Oh, everything's against her, and those two would have been good and perfect until this bitch Matsuza, Masuzu showed up, and it's just like, ugh, I so feel for her. And it's odd, because the first episode, I didn't like her at all, and then the second episode, she made me feel. With her, I felt so much hate for gray-haired girl. Like, ugh. And on the flip side, I really liked our main lead, Eita, I believe his name was. He just seemed like a really cool character. He he was focused on studying, and he was he was anti love, which is uh, it's I've seen it a couple times, but this one seemed like it'd be coolly done. But the second episode, he was pissing me off almost as much as gray haired girl. He did nothing. Masazu was like bullying the heck out of his childhood friend. If he did shit sh at all, man, he did nothing. He just sat there, and she had her journal, so he, he's getting his journal written out, and that's why he's being blackmailed, so, I don't know, I don't know, this, this conflict is pissing me off. The character designs look beautiful, but the character personalities just piss me off. Rant over. So, I'll probably be continuing most of these series, because I just, I don't know, I say I hate them but that's probably why I like them, because I'm engaged into the anime, and that's why I hate it so much. It's just like the second arc of Sword Art. I hated it so much, but I was already engaged into the story. So I guess when anime makes you feel all these things, it's a lot better than, say, an anime you just like could sleep through. It was so 
boring and pointless, so at least these episodes are making me feel something. And now to shove in some quick first impressions, episode 1 of Kotoro-san was freaking amazing. If you have not seen this episode, it is the episode to watch out of the entire anime season. This episode was just amazing. I, c I can't really express in words how much how much it just felt, right? Just that episode just hit me in the feels it made. Just so many feels this and first just this first episode. I haven't seen the second episode yet, but I don't know. I think I think I'm going to enjoy this regardless cuz it was just such a pristine first episode. Additionally, Sasami-san at Gambaranai just kicking it off shaft style badass just weird quirky the entire world in the second half the entire world was turned into chocolate and three sisters one who had boob missile guns just destroyed it so and the uh, big brother he doesn't show his face he's either has like a briefcase or like a metal pan in front of his face at all times so it's just I can't explain it. It's just like typical shaft quirkiness and just I think this is more more quirky and weird than even for shaft it's weirder. So if you're into weird anime g g give this one a try cuz it, it 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 is weird. It is very 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 weird. Thanks for watching me talk about what I'm watching. What are you watching? Let me know in the comments down below. Did I not talk about something I should have talked about? And even just non-seasonal anime, is there something you want to talk about? Just leave me a comment and I'll be sure to respond because it's so cool. Aww. I made a tweeter and it is down below in the description as well as my my anime list account so check them out if you have though you can check them out cuz fun times fun times I like organizing my anime I don't know why I just do and tw Twitter seems pretty fun so I might have some good conversations on there is that all I wanted to talk about I think so Look forward to my Monday, Monday, Monday anime reviews, and I will see you guys then. Johnny.